made it home without any problems at all. Just makes me nervous when I've got it hanging out that back, but that far, but most of it's hanging, most of it's in the truck and I've got it strapped down pretty good. So this is all the lumber that I need for the loft. Um, like I was saying earlier, uh, I, I need to, I need to build a loft before I put the ceiling in there and I need to do that for uh, a couple of reasons. One, it's going to make it easier to do the roof uh, and, or yeah, it's going to make it easier to do the rafters and the roof than, and everything else because I'll be closer to the top where it's going to be. And um, most importantly, it's because when you put a roof on a place um, and you've got the walls down here, right? Uh, the, the roof wants to go out. It wants to push everything out. And that's how it, it holds itself in place, especially the rafters with the ridge beam that I'm going to do. Uh, it's, it holds the ridge beam in place by pushing against it uh, and, and forcing down on the bird's mouth on the top of the wall. And I don't want that wall to spread when I do get snow on there. Um, so I was going to have to run a couple of cross member supports anyway, but if I put the loft in there now, I'm going to eliminate all that problem. I won't have to worry about a lot of that uh, as far as cross supports go. So we're going to get that unloaded and done now. I'm going to just take all the lumber and throw it over here, get rid of some of that plastic and stuff first. It was funny running into Ward uh, at, at the Orange Store. <laughs> Ward and DJ were there. He's going over to help DJ uh, do some blown insulation in his, in his house. Uh, but I'm going to get this all unloaded and... Uh, then we'll be on to the next level or the next step. And I'll explain to you the, my, my thought process behind how I'm going to do this. Um, I talked to Ward about it and then I got to thinking about it. And I, he was telling me I should do something else. And then when I explained to him when we were in Home Depot today, um, and then when I explained to him what my plan was for how to do it, he goes, never mind, that'll work too. So. <laughs> Okay, so let me explain to you what I got here and how this is going to work. So these are two 10-foot 2x8s. Um, that is going to be the beam that goes down the middle, and on, and that is going to rest on these 8-foot 2x8s. Uh, I'm going to build a support on the back where that beam is going to rest, and then it's going to be a temporary support on the front because I have a plan for what I, I want for a final support on the front. And then on top of that, these are all 12 footers, so I actually have to cut them down a little bit, um, that are going to come from either side and lay on top of that beam. Uh, and then if you think that's not enough support, understand also that on this whole side of um, the cabin, on the back side where this loft is going to be, is going to be the bathroom and the pantry, which are actually going to be framed in. So that'll be two by four uh, with 16 inches on center to support that, as to give a little extra support as well. Um, so. I'll build a beam out of these two. Um, I'll use these on the back. I'll use these on the front temporarily. Uh, and then the big ones underneath will be the ones, the two by eight for the flooring. And then on the front, I'm gonna set this, set this double plate beam in there on top of this, on top of that. Um, and Ward went ahead and had this in the back of his truck, so he just gave me that. So. That is an entire 10 foot by, what, 10 foot by 12 foot, or no, 10 foot by 20 foot loft. So, yeah, pretty fired up about that. Should be able to do this whole thing by myself, too.
Okay. <laughs> well, so much for uh, cool but dry weather. They got the cool right. I think we hit our daytime high already of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just got home from work and it, it's kind of a nightmare this time of year because the chicken water freezes so I have to go ahead and make sure I get their waters knocked out and, and refilled so that they can have water and, and it's just the time of the year right I mean it happens every year and they're getting used to the cold and I'm not at the point where I want to leave the heater on in the trailer all day long while I'm at work so I go ahead and, and make sure that uh, I turn it off before I get home so it's obviously cool in there I got to go ahead and fire the heater back up again but I stopped off and got me a, a coffee all right where were we let's get back at it again today uh, keep we're still working on this project here and if you haven't noticed I'm starting to release shorts during the week um, until I can start doing two videos a week again, we'll probably have shorts just to keep you guys updated on what's going on. This is nuts. The wind's kicking up and everything. Frustrating. And yes, that is a dusting of snow on the floor of the cabin. <laughs> Which I guess is better than rain. 
just don't want this to be slippery. Put all the nails. Oh, right there in front of me. There we go. I feel much more comfortable.
catch it here, Neil. Yep. It's not sinking all the way and it's because I unplugged the compressor to plug in the skill saw when I cut this board and I never plugged the compressor back in. So you know, um, because I measured off of this board when in reality these go all the way in and get nailed off on the inside to the studs, the wall studs. So I had to add five and a half inches and I cut a little bit back just to give myself enough wiggle room.
ready for winter at all. But I'm a little more ready today because Jillian, who rocks and watches the channel all the time, made me a whole bunch of stuff like neck warmers, uh, balacavas, beanies, um, a scarf, and uh, mailed them all the way from Christchurch, New Zealand. Super, super awesome. This thing is warm. <laughs> I love it. I'm at the point now with the chicken where I can integrate the flocks anytime I want. So oh, I'm thinking Sunday's the day I'm going to do that. Which also means I've got to. Uh, Get the coop all cleaned up and ready to go. Sunday's gonna be a chicken day, I think. Hey chickens, are you dying? Are you thriving?